Nancy Pelosi shoves a little girl. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is another declaration of truth from your host, Terry A. Hurlbut. Representative Nancy Pelosi of California, the Speaker of the House, once again made the news. Now, let's see. She's had her own Archbishop deny her the Sacrament of Communion. On another occasion, she claimed a special privilege she would deny to others. Each time she finessed the bad optics of what she did or the sanction she got. But she won't be able to finesse this. <laughs> this time, she has gone beyond the pale. And no reasonable person can defend what she did. What did she do that was so horrible? She shoved a little girl. And she did it on national television. Now, maybe it wasn't live, but it was recorded. And the recordings are now out there. We're going to talk about just what happened and what it tells us about Nancy Pelosi. Stick with me on this, because I'm going to show that we learned something new from that show. Uh, new. From that display. Before I begin, I do want to shout out to the sponsor of this channel, which is Conservative News and Views, link in the description. Be sure to check out the awesome CNAV store. Scroll down near the bottom for that link. Lots of good merchandise there, including this t-shirt I'm wearing. The Trumpinator saying, I'll be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sit down and prepare yourself for a shock. Probably never thought a thing like this would happen, did you? The little girl in question is the older daughter of new Representative Myra Flores from Texas. You remember her. Two weeks ago, I told you about how she won a special election to the House after the incumbent in her district resigned to take a K Street job. So on Tuesday a week ago, that's June 21st, she showed up at the Capitol for the Speaker to swear her in. Well, evidently, Nancy Pelosi did not appreciate this duty. She said all the right things, but didn't mean a word of them. And then, as everyone else was posing for pictures, you can see it. I have links in the description to no fewer than three videos that clearly show Nancy Pelosi moving her right arm into the little girl's back and giving a shot. Now, I read some accounts saying that she elbow the little girl. Stop right there. Those people are exaggerating. To elbow means to strike with the elbow. Nancy Pelosi at least had enough sense not to do that. Nevertheless, if what she did this was a tasteless thing to do, and displayed total indifference to the rules of etiquette, to say nothing of the rules of the house. But you know what? That little girl recovered so quickly that hardly anybody noticed. That might partly explain why we started seeing those videos only last Sunday. Representative Flores herself had the best response anybody could give. I have a link in the description to it, but I'm also going to quote it here. I am so proud of my strong, beautiful daughter for not allowing this to face her. She continued to smile and pose for the pictures like a queen. She's right, you know. Keep your eyes on those little girls, both of them. They're going to grow up to be very gracious ladies someday. American can be proud of them. And prouder still of our newest member of Congress because she raised them right. No question about that. But Representative Flores then followed by saying the obvious, you do not do that to a child. Now, what does this show? Well, it shows that our newest member of Congress has raised two fine, outstanding little girls who won't let a big bully spoil the fun, even if big bully is an adult. <laughs> yes, I use that term loosely. But what else does it show? Before I get into that, I want to shout out to another sponsor, Bitnext. This is your replacement for Zoom, Slack, the Google G Suite, Microsoft Office 365, Dropbox, WeTransfer, and Chili Piper, among others. Unlike any of them, Bitnext protects your content and conversation so well that even the administrators can't see it. So this is your channel for secure comms, conferencing, cloud storage, and file sharing. Best of all, 
everything is back end. You don't even need client software. If you have a browser, you can use Bitnext. Follow the link and give them a try. 28 days free of charge. And you can't beat that with a stick. Now, oh, where was I? Ah, yes. Well, this sad episode marred what was otherwise a celebration of a great personal achievement by Representative Florence and what she rightly shared with her family. But what does it mean? Other than that Nancy Pelosi can be incredibly boorish at times. Well, we knew that when she appeared one on late night television showing off her expensive refrigerator freezers and her equally expensive ice cream. But what else do we know from this incident that we didn't know before? Do we know that she cares nothing for the non-Anglo people that are or have been one of her party's constituent groups? Again, we knew that already. She doesn't care about what about such uh, constituent group members. She cares only about how they vote. And not only will Myra Flores vote against her most of the time in the House, but she won election precisely by pledging to vote that way. And I'll tell you one thing we know that we didn't know before. The strain of defending the indefensible and the prospect of losing her majority and power is beginning to show. Myra Flores winning that special election represented more than one more than just one vote for turning into a vote against. It represented a direct repudiation of principles of politics by which she has lived for decades. Indeed, it represented a repudiation of her personally as well as of her allies. And that's how she could so forget herself. Whatever else Nancy Pelosi is, she's smarter than this. At least she's smarter than this most of the time. Last week, in a critical moment, she forgot her manners and indeed a key political principle, which is at least pretend to care even when you don't. Well, you can expect to see that footage show up in campaigns not only in California's San Francisco district, but nationwide. As Speaker of the House, she is the Speaker for the Democratic Party. Well, Joe Biden would be. But aside from this being midterms, he's in little shape to speak to or for anyone. But by that disgraceful act, Nancy Pelosi has spoken contempt for the people. And the people should remember in November. If I were a betting man, I'd lay you 108 that the people in her district will remember. And they'll tell their new neighbors about it, too. When the new district lines take effect, scratch! One take back the Democrats thought they were going to get. Nancy Pelosi just threw it away. Links to the description of the article, to three videos showing the incident, to Representative Flora's response, and to conservative news and views. I have another link to the awesome online store and a bit next, as I also mentioned. And if you like what you've seen, uh, seen and heard, you can like this video. And follow the in video link to my earlier video congratulating Representative Florence on her victory. Plus, a direct link to subscribe to this channel. This is Terry A. Hurlbut delivering another declaration of truth and reminding you to let the truth set you free.